Now I know that you know exactly what's running through these ra racers' minds and heads. And today, you know, when they woke up this morning, they became very focused very because focused. they know that it's not a, a question of uh, if something's going to happen; it's when something's yeah. going to happen in racing. And yeah. so you have an unbelievable access to kind of be there to encourage them and really maybe help calm them right before they step into the car. And today, I think we're going to be able to follow you right up to the very point that we. We put hope so as much as we can. And uh, I will. Car. I will have prayer with him sometime this morning. And uh, he he welcomes that. He wants that. In fact, he's asked for it. And uh, that's a calming effect too. To really realize that whatever happens, you're really in the hands of God. That that's a tremendous uh, aspect to have uh, mentally for a race car driver. Yes, I was with Dale Earnhardt on the day he was killed at Daytona 500. In fact, I was in the ER room with him. Uh, one of very few people who, who actually were in, in the presence uh, of where they were working on him at that particular time. So I was with Teresa uh, in the ER room at Halifax Hospital immediately following the race. And um, of course, I've been working with him. I prayed with him that morning uh, with Dale Earnhardt for the race. What would be like that morning? Well, he was just kind of like normal. I mean, I don't know if there was anything different than there were any other times. I mean, he was the kind of guy who always was kind of a jokester. I mean, a lot of times uh, when I would be praying with Earnhardt, he would step on my toes while I'm praying, or uh, somebody would grab me back of the neck or whatever, you know. He was always kind of a jokester. But I didn't notice anything really unusual that uh, happened that morning. And it was very unexpected. The accident did not look like it was a very serious accident, but it was, and it uh, took his life. And, uh, How did that make you day. feel? I mean, you were there with him it that morning. It was a very sad day, he yeah. He was stepping on your toes yeah. as you were praying yeah. with him and grabbing your and, neck and hanging and out. And Michael Walter, who won the race, uh, was driving his first race for Del Earnhardt. Del Earnhardt on the team. And so it was a, uh, even though it was a great victory for Michael. I had gone to the victory circle to be with Michael and uh, somebody came and got me and said, well, Dell is hurt. And so I said, okay, you know, I thought you know, these guys often get hurt. I didn't know it was that serious. They said, no, 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 he's really hurt. So they put me in a police car, rushed me to Halifax Hospital and took me in the back door right into the ER room where I could have uh, a time with him. And I was there when they turned around and said to Teresa and to me, said, you know, we've done everything we can do. He's gone. Yeah, they, well, they, were, they were trying to revive him. He was already gone, but they were trying to revive him. There's no doubt about it that the close relationship you have with people like Jeff Gordon and the Waltrip and the Kyle Petty and yes. Richard Petty yeah. and Mario Haverfield and all of these people, whether it's international or national, yeah. you have a very interesting and close access to people and you're an encourager and uh, that's just a very interesting place to be, especially when you're in such a dangerous sport. Well, thank you so much, Daphne. Good. Awesome.